Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. So good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, welcome to this episode. I believe that we have now surpassed four and a half years of coming live every single Tuesday at 12 noon. Well, it's about time we do some other heel talk. So what are we going to talk about today? I want you to know that in life, we make some choices. Actually, we make choices all the time. And yet we're not uh, thinking about it until we have to make the choice or choose something. And then we're like, let me let me do this. Okay, let me make a decision. Until then, you are making decisions all the time. So today we're going to be talking about the perceptions that we have, our belief systems, and how certain belief systems and perceptions that we have been keeping um, either hold us back or they truly move us forward in life. And it is a choice. So for those of you who do not know me, I am the founder of Heal Within, and that's exactly what I did. This is why I created HealWithin.com, which is my healing center. I am located in the Los Angeles area. Over 23 years ago, I healed myself through hypnotherapy. And it was healing an ovarian cyst that I no longer needed to have my third surgery for the ovarian cyst. And it, this happened through uh, the connection that I had uh, from the law firm where the HR director sent me to an acupuncturist. And the, it was the acupuncturist that referred me and told me that hypnosis can help my with my ovarian cyst and that's what I did. I went to a hypnotherapist over 25 years ago and truly believe that I healed myself through that. So I no longer needed my third surgery. Thus, this is the journey that I am on. For the last 23 years, I've been practicing. I have a, I have a healing center called Heal Within and I truly believe that I did so. And now, I help individuals like you heal within from going from pain to gain and what is pain it is feeling powerless it is feeling maybe insecure it is feeling anxious it is feeling like a negative thoughts into a point of gain which is feeling more strong and growth within you right feeling more accepted uh, acknowledging everything that it's happening in your life uh, feeling that you are independent and you can do certain things and make decisions and finding that place within yourself to feel more nurturing and nourishing about who you are and all this happens when we tap into our subconscious mind and you can too. So how is all this connected to hypnosis? Because we tap into the subconscious mind and the subconscious mind, your subconscious mind is truly where the, the keeper of all the information is. So everything, every action and reaction, every feeling, every, all your senses in your life that you have experienced has been embedded in your subconscious mind, which is the storage part of your brain. Okay? And words make such an impact on how you think and how you feel. You know, in the past, they used to say that words, um, words may uh, hurt you, but they don't kill you or something like that. Sticks and bones and uh, words words are so powerful not so much of the words that are said because if it doesn't uh, reflect who you are you don't even care but words that you say words that you repeat 
and words that you hear and words that not only you say you repeat and you hear but it also embeds in your own psyche in your own subconscious mind so how we shift that how you shift not only words but perceptions is recognizing how you come to empower yourself so I had a client who came in and was saying it's I don't know the steps to take to move forward and she's not saying that I am stuck but she's talking about steps I can't step into I can't step into going here I can't step so it's like after listening to her for a few moments I asked her a question what is the problem where is the issue of you not wanting to step into or forward and she says I don't understand what you're saying and I said everything you're talking about is stepping 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 so what's going on she says I don't know let me think about this as we started probing and discovering and it's just like peeling the layers that's exactly what therapy is when you go and talk you do a talk therapy it's like so how do you feel and what do you think after a little bit of discovery I said are you ready for your hypnosis she says by all means yes so I take her into this wonderful state of relaxation that's exactly what hypnosis is all about is a state of relaxation a deep state within yourself that no matter what you hear what is going on you are cognitive you are you are hearing it you are you know everything that is going on but nothing really matters it's that what we call dream state right and at that very moment as she is relaxing and I said now talk about all the things in your life that you have stepped into and you want to step into and she said nothing comes to mind except I'm stepping down into this beautiful place I'm going and walking and I see a staircase and that's how we began a staircase where is the staircase leading up to where are you how old do you believe yourself to be and as we started going delving deeper and deeper into that state you see a part of the work that I do is listening and as I listen I hold space a safe space space for my clients so that they feel comfortable not only in the recliner but comfortable in where they are and that they are comfortable in their body and what they see and what they hear and as she went deeper and deeper into that state of relaxation and she's speaking and I am asking the questions she saw a staircase a staircase that long ago they used to live on the second floor in the house that she grew up in and as she is walking around the house she hears a bell and she has to go and open the door and as she opens the door what she saw and what she saw impacted her so much that she was afraid to open the door and for the longest time growing up she was scared to open the front door of their house and what she saw it had impacted her memory so vividly as if a shock and she had seen her father 
and with someone else. Now, you might say, what the, could that be? No, it is not what you think. But her father was in a, a, a heated argument with a neighbor that they got into a wrestling match and it was like a fight and it scared this kid at five years old so much that it shocked her system now for an adult you might turn around and say okay i know it's just uh, is disturbing and everything but it's not something to shock but for a five-year-old that opens the door and does not see the person in front of the door but beyond what she saw was her father in a heated argument and almost a wrestling match with a neighbor that she recognized that she thought her father was being hurt and it scared her so much that it impacted her and she in her mind embedded as if oh my god i can't open doors i can't step i can't do this i can't i can't because of the fear of what she might see so for years she's been afraid not she as the adult but the, the little kid so every time that she wanted to move forward in life or step into doing something it's as if her subconscious was saying mm, be careful of the doors you're opening be careful of what you're stepping into not a reality but a perceived notion does this make sense to you recognizing that in life there is the reality that there is there's a perceived notion and what we create in our mind to protect us actually to protect that little child within you so when we do the hypnosis, when I guide my client in a state of hypnosis, is so we can bypass the analyzing, judging, criticizing part of our mind, which is the conscious. We overcome the conscious. And we open a little bit of a doorway that we bypass the critical factor which is the analyzing judging criticizing uh, reasoning part only to tap into the subconscious where it's just a platform of what we see and think and the look and listen and learn what we have learned what we have captured what we have experienced throughout the years and the only thing we do is we go and tap into that level so we can edit an emotional connection to an experience so that if there was a perception that is not a reality today we can shift that emotional connection to that experience so in a way it's asking was your father okay afterwards oh yeah was the neighbor okay afterwards oh yeah how many times did you open the door to go in and out of your house it's like many many times but it's like every time I wanted to succeed every time I wanted to step into doing something I always To now bypass the doubts and recognize that he was okay the neighbor was okay you are okay and what is the feeling that we can put in there right now it's like oh I can step into things open doorways 
What is the next door that you would like to open? What is it that you would like to step into from this day forward that we can create a new perception for you? She's like, oh, that I can achieve. Yes, you can. So here's my question to you. Have there been certain self-limiting beliefs that you have created for yourself? I know I have. Believe me, I have. And I've done my work. And you know what? I have one, two, three coaches. I've done so many of my own uh, work tapping within and every time I come it's like I, I talk to my uh, front desk lady my my administrator and I say you know what this is what I think let me think oh my god yeah what if this is how it is and I do this entire work on myself because this is the part that I have mastered, that I can do my own what if, what if, what ifs. And there is parts of, let's say, my business or there is parts of other things that I may be stuck and I do call and I do have mentors, I do have coaches that I reach out to them and I say, I need guidance I need your support I am stuck at a place that I need your help we all have one two or many of those in our lives you know some people say my coach is my father my coach is or my mentor is I have a guide that I go to we all have someone Growing up, we had teachers. If you played uh, in a team, in a game, uh, either volleyball, a sport, or anything, even piano, you had a teacher. If you were in sports, you had a coach, you had a trainer. Even today, when you want to train, you go to a gym, you have a trainer, you have someone that teaches you, coaches you, mentors you, guides you. We all have someone. It's recognizing it that in life we all need somebody that helps us, supports us, holds space for us, maybe holds our hand for a duration of time. And that's exactly what I do. If you feel stuck, either perceived or real, can help you shift from where you are to where you want to be and you know I always say my method is the three E which I help you by evoking what was you know I, I, I'm a dog lover I have a dog as a matter of fact my dog is right here sitting in here in my office and today he's visiting and I don't want to say his name because he'll get up maybe at the end I will show my precious four-legged that every time I open my eyes he's right there eager waiting and in life being grateful not only being grateful that you opened your eyes and saying oh I am alive I am present I have a roof over my head I am, I am functioning I can breathe I can speak I can see a sense of gratefulness in life and then as I am about to step down and there he is wagging his tail ready for me to take him for his walk which in a way I think he's taking me on a walk on a journey on the path that I can be more grateful not only with him with myself but with nature and everything that I can see that I can feel that I can experience that I can hear and validate so in life be grateful and you will see that you come out of that funk so much faster 
shift a perception, shift a word, and you will know. So going from evoking what was the history, realizing it is not happening at this very moment, to coming to embrace the reality of where you are in order for you to evolve what, to what you want, right? And it can be your weight. If you feel overweight, you can shed the weight. If you want to stop smoking, you want to stop a, a habit or a behavior. If you are feeling actually you cannot sleep, dealing with insomnia, anxiety, panic, those are the things that I can help you go from A to Z. Tapping into your subconscious, finding what is it that you are stuck in? A perceived stuck. So that in reality, you can step forward, just like my client. You know, it took approximately four to five sessions for her to now embracing all of what she is. And she's stepping more into all the things she wants to create. And you can too. And thank you for being here. Adrian, for me, that mentor would be you. And I all I really have to thank you for being you. You are the best. Oh, thank you so much, Adrian, for what you said. Every single day, every week when I show up, when we talk about heal talk, I healed within. And I help you heal within. And someone might turn around and say, I don't need any healing. I'm perfect. I am so happy that you are perfect. And one thing I want you to know. It's okay to be perfectly imperfect. So to close today's session, why did I mention my dog? because I am grateful to you, to each and every one of you for being here and showing up and sending me messages of how I have helped you. Thank you for you for sharing how I have made an impact in your life, even if it is with words, with an experience. And, and truly, even after being here, in person if this is a repeat if if you are watching this on a replay please hashtag replay ask me any question and this client who came to me just a month ago that has now moved on and stepping forward was referred by one of you as my viewers so i want to say i am humbled that no matter when and where I am reaching you that the message is coming across that you deserve truly deserve to live a life of health wealth success joy and much more you know why because you do matter you do and if you know of someone then I may be of assistance and help them by all means. Contact me, message me. And for all of you, you always know that I gift and I, I've been told, why don't you give away the gift before? Because today I want to give you a different gift. And the person who says, hmm, text, Text HEAL to 818-221-2797 and I want to gift you one of my bracelets. A bracelet that from the day that I've had it and this weekend I gifted a few people that I truly wanted to gift and it says I evoke, embrace evolve and when we turn it around it says I matter 
and I have not taken that off no matter if I go to a cocktail party or I'm just sitting in my office. It's been embedded, it's a reminder for me that I matter as much as you do. Because if I am here to help you, I do my own work of evoking, embracing, and evolving. Thank you for being here every week. And next week, I have a handsome and incredible guest. And I'm not going to reveal who my guest is. Well, all I can say is, hmm, be here. You can't. You do not want to miss next week's uh, Real Talk session with Lisa. I can, all I have to do is say, he's a doctor. So until then, God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Let me see if I can bring him up. Winston? Come here, people. Come on, Mama. Come on. I want to show you to everyone. <gasps> oh, there's that. Say hello. <laughs> everyone is seeing you. Say hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Did you know that dogs, animals, pets are the best therapy that there is? Mm. Thank you for being a part of us. See you next week. We've got doctor. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> You're welcome, Seda John. It's so good to see you. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.